Hello, everybody. Welcome to Spinnaket. My name is Ipsam. I'm a Red Hat Certified Architect. Today, we will talk about the Spinnaket operator with Open. How does the Spinnaket operate with OpenShift? So let's first understand OpenShift. OpenShift is a Red Hat Enterprise Kubernetes offering. With OpenShift, you could deploy application with security and compliance. OpenShift provides the uh, PBU monitoring using Prometheus, Alert Manager, and Grafana dashboard. OpenShift also provides the distribution locking. Uh, OpenShift support operator out of the box. Uh, the application will be scanned for security and vulnerability and available in the marketplace. Um, operator in OpenShift is a concept to translate human knowledge from a DevOps team, systemize it with automation, and put it into an operator. Yeah, we have different operator example. For example, um, installing a uh, spinnaker, right? The the step are uh, automated with an operator, right? You could also see, you know, installing, you know, Argo CD or Jenkins. Right, another component would also have their own co op uh, related operators. So, Spinnaker, Spinnaker is an open source multi cloud continuous delivery platform and that allows software releases with high velocity and confidence. Spinnaker also helps the user to create deployment pipeline that run integration tests, unit tests, acceptance tests, system tests. Um, and spin up and spin down server group. You could use Spinnaker dashboard to monitor the deployment, the rollout, and rollback. Now we understand the Spinnaker concept. We look at the Spinnaker operator. Spinnaker operator allow the user to spin up Spinnaker to manage the continuous deployment using OpenShift CRDs. So with the help of the Spinnaker operator, the user has the convenience and confidence of simple and powerful approach to execute CICD pipeline with high velocity and managing risk. Spinnaker has the following features. It supports multi-cloud deployment. It automates the release with pipeline. Pipeline as code, right? You can encapsulate the pipeline using Goofy script or some other script and save it into a Git repository. So in this case, the pipeline is uh, uh, is uh, uh, developed and captured in in a code. Safe deployment strategy. You could set up different uh, deployment strategy using you know rolling update, blue green deployment, and so on. Uh, one click uh, rollback. If something you deploy to production it did not work, you can click uh, to roll back to the version version minus one. It support EC lifecycle management, EC application onboarding. It enforces the compliance policy, auditing, and also it supports the CD dashboard. Operator Hub IO. Operator Hub IO is uh, launched by Red Hat in collaboration with AWS, Google, Google Cloud, and Microsoft. The operator Hub IO designed to be public is a public registry, the registry for finding the Kubernetes operator of and services. Installing uh, in OpenShift. So with the um, Operator Lifecycle Manager. Uh, this is a tool for you to manage operator running on your OpenShift cluster. You could uh, download this from GitHub in the URL for the installation shell script. Then um, with the uh, operator, you could install the operator in the operator namespace. That would be available for all namespace in your cluster. All you need is to call the OC create dash F 
and specify the Spinnaker operator YAML file. You also have the uh, custom resource definition, the CRD. Um, these are introduced by the operator. When you do the OC get CRD hyphen N op operators, you will get you will see the corresponding CRD. So this is an example uh, CRD definition, and you can see that um, we have the corresponding uh, spinnaker feature flag. We use the feature flag to identify uh, what feature in spinnaker you want to include. For the, for the deployment, for the installation. Um, you have the Spinica uh, access key. Usually you could use the Spinica admin as the access key. Um, and then um, at the surface account, we are using the Spinica operator as a surface account. So to create a resource definition, um, you download, uh, you download the microservices related to Spinnaker using the CRD. Um, that will bring in all Spinnaker port to the operator namespace. So what you need to do is to do an OC create-f, um, the OPSM, Spinnaker YAML, hyphen N, the operator namespace. After that, you need to validate the CRD is created. You can call OC get CRD hyphen N operator. And then you should see the spinnaker operator dot chart dot ham dot AS dot IO. The OpenShift part, you could validate that the spinnaker part is created. Running the command OC get port dash N operator. You should see there were spin hyphen install hyphen uh, with the uh, uh, with that pod will be created and then the spinnaker operators pod will also be created for the openshift deployment you log into the operator pod oc exec uh, dash it and then you specify the uh, spin install pod dash n operator, and then you want to use the bin batch. Once you get into the pod, you can run the hell deploy apply. In this case, you will see the list of deployment of the Spinnaker services. Uh, at the end, you can do OC get pod hyphen n operator to see the to, to see the corresponding pods in the operator. Um, so then at that time, you can open up the, uh, check the spin, make sure that the Spinnaker surface is running, um, and launch the Spinnaker console. So we view the Red Hat Marketplace. The Red Hat Marketplace, um, uh, uh, contain the, uh, open enterprise Spinnaker, which is available in the marketplace. Customer responsive support stream, streamline building contract contracting simplify governance and uh, single dashboard visibility across the cloud is the nature of the uh, marketplace. So automated deployment on Red Hat cluster providing a fast and integrated experience with the marketplace. So if you go to the Red Hat Marketplace, uh, you can search and you will see um, the Open Enterprise Spinnaker. And that contains a good description of what, what the um, uh, Open, Open Enterprise Spinnaker operator does, the features and the, uh, the required subscription, uh, the, the versioning, right? and, the, um, and, the, and the certificate re uh, uh, related to the, this operator. If you go to the OpenShift console, uh, you can click also click on the operator hub. In the operator hub, uh, you can search for Spinnaker 
and you will see different version of Spinnaker available. You have the community community version, you have the marketplace version. Um, so in this example, I'm going to show you the OpenShift using Open Enterprise Spinnaker Operator, the first example here. When you click on it, um, you have the option to install the Open Enterprise Spinnaker Operator. So for the basic installation, um, you need to create an operator subscription. Um, you could specify the uh, installation mode. Uh, you can do it for all namespace, or you can do it for a specific cluster. And you also need to get the approval for the subscription. So in this case, I specify to use the automatic approval for the subscription. Once you have installed the operator, you will see Enterprise Spinnaker available in the install operator. So the next step is to click on that and look at the details. When you click on that name, you will come to this channel. Uh, you will see that um, there's a specific uh, uh, subscription tied to this Open Enterprise Spinnaker. The channel is alpha, is automatically approved. And then at the same time, you will be doing the installation. Um, when you go to the YAML file, you could check the uh, corresponding Spinnaker version. In this case, is uh, version 1.20.5. This is the current native, latest version. And after the installation, you will see the corresponding resources available from the operator. Um, you can see uh, the OES, um, the, the corresponding uh, deployment, the surface, the config map, replica set, port will be created for the Spinnaker. And then if you go on the left side, go to the pod inside workload, you can look up the specific pod details for the, um, for the Spinnaker pod. So OSE Open Enterprise Spin is one, this one pod that was created for the Spinnaker. Uh, if you go to the terminal of the pod, you can do the L control uh, config list. The help config list will list the configuration of the of the spinnaker, and then you could do the cube control get all. The cube control get all will return all the uh, uh, Kubernetes objects related created for the pod, and it would also show the IP addresses and the pod number of the Spinnaker console. So from the output, you can copy that uh, console IP address and port number and open that in the browser. The Spinnaker console will come up. If you click on the help button on the right hand side and check for version, this version should be matching the version that you have for your installation. To uninstall uh, the Spinnaker, it's also very straightforward. You go back to the operator um, operator hubs and search for the uh, Open Enterprise Spinnaker operator and click on uninstall. Next step is to confirm the uninstallation. After the uninstallation, all the Spinnaker resources will be removed when the operator is finished on install. So in this presentation, you see uh, installing and uninstalling Spinnaker dashboard was very easy using uh, OpenShift operator. The OpenShift operator are available in the OpenShift 4. If you are using an older version of OpenShift 3, you will need to go through the menu steps to install Spinnaker. 
The Spinica features is managed by the operator subscription. So uh, it depends on, um, remember in the YAML file, you have a list of uh, Spinica feature. If you need to do more, include more features, you will need to modify your subscription to do that. The Spinica operator latest version as of today is version 1.20.5, which is available in the OpenShift operator. OpenShift manage operator deployment using the um, you're using the OpenShift console, which make it really easy to do. Um, if you if you don't want to touch the command line, you can install the entire uh, uh, Spinica operator using the console. That's it. Yeah, thank you for attending the Spinica summit. If you have question, please reach out to uh, Red Hat Consultant. Uh, thank you very much. Have a good day.